Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, we start talking about the uh, this uh, collection of polynomials that remember we call that the Galois field, and we represent the elements here as polynomials. And every polynomial in this collection con is also a representation of a byte, and it contains all possible bytes that are out there. So what we what we're gonna do now is talk about a, a couple of operations in in this in this. Uh, collection which is addition and multiplication and remember the reason we are doing this is because this is going to help us uh, do the operation of of columns or the transformation in the columns that we need for the advanced encryption standard so this is all part of the specification of the advanced encryption standard all right so what operations are in here so in this Galois field um, and there are two operations I mentioned addition and which is addition of polynomials, but the addition of polynomials is going to add the coefficients just addition with using the sort of addition. So, for example, now let's take an example here. So, let's say for uh, that I have uh, two polynomials in the Galois field. So, let's choose, for instance, something like this like x to the fifth plus x squared plus x plus one. Now, that is an element of this. Uh, this collection. Remember, all the coefficients are either zeros or ones. And let's assume that I want to add to this one, let's say I want to add uh, x to the 4 plus x squared plus, plus, plus x. Let's say we want to add them together. So you will add them as the same similar way that you add polynomials. So you add the coefficients, but in this case, Instead of doing the addition as normal addition, like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, they remember that in SOAR, what that is, is 1 plus 1 is 0. And 1 plus 0 is 1, of course. So, okay. So, what happens here is, okay, let's look at this polynomial. So, the largest power that you see here in all of this is x to the fifth. If I could combine this with any of the powers here, I will do that with SOAR, but there is no other x to the fifth there. So, I just write down x to the fifth. Now the next power will be x to the fourth. Now x to the fourth is this is the only x to the fourth there. I don't combine that with anything, so I get, I get x to the fourth. Next thing I look for x cubes. There are no x cubes here, so I just leave it as it is. Now then I go to the next power will be x squared, so x squared plus x squared. Now remember the way you add polynomials is that you add the coefficients. X squared here we're assuming that it has a coefficient of one. And this x squared also has a coefficient of 1. Uh, because I'm adding user and source, so what I'm do really doing here is 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0. Now remember that, so 1 plus 1, or 1 sort 1 is 0. And because of that, then the addition of x squared plus x squared is 0 x squared, and because it is a 0, I don't really need to write it down. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So basically, basically what's happening here is that the x squares are canceling out. That is the idea. You, you take a, a power plus the same power. If you add them together, they just cancel each other out. Now, let me indicate that with, let's say, with some color here. Let's say, so these two guys are canceling out. Now, if you go to the uh, next power, which is x here, so this guy here, a similar situation is happening because I have a coefficient of 1 and a coefficient of 1. So 1 plus 1, in this case, remember the addition is sort, so 1 plus 1 will be 0. So again, the x is here cancel. And so let me just write it down like this. And finally, I get to the point where I need to write down a constant or add the constants if there are any. So I have a constant here. I, have, I don't have any other constant. So the only thing here that it can combine with one is basically nothing so i just write down plus one over there so i'm going to write a plus one there so that's the addition so that's the addition in in the galois field now ex exactly it's almost exactly the same as polynomial addition but what you do is just uh, instead of adding with the use of addition you add with sort the coefficients and so that's that's how it goes so when you, you add two elements in the Galois field, this guy is also in the Galois field. That is an important property of the Galois field. <coughs> Sorry. And that is that whenever you add two elements of in, in here, so this is an element in the Galois field, 
This is an element in the Galois field. When you add them, the result will also be here in, el in this Galois field. And remember, the elements here are all the polynomials or degree 7 or less with coefficients that are either 0 or 1. And that's also what's going to happen. You add two elements of there, and you get another element in there. So that's the addition. So there is nothing else actually there. It's just, it's just that. It's actually quite simple. If you remember that when you have a power and you add it by itself, then you just get zero. So the power basically disappears if you add it to itself. Now, the next operation uh, is multiplication. And that's the most important operation here. And this is defined in a, a little bit different way with respect to multiplication of polynomials. You still multiply polynomials, but you have to go a little bit further. You have to make an extra step. So the extra step here is the following thing. So when you multiply polynomials in that Galois field, you're going to use this polynomial that is right here. This one. x to the 8 plus x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x plus 1. Now, I haven't said how you use it. I'm going to say that in a second. But what I'm going to emphasize here is that this polynomial is part of the advanced encryption standard S specifications. And what that means is whoever implements this as a software or, or as a program, it has to have somewhere a representation of this polynomial there. So this is actually part of the advanced encryption standard. Even though this looks like algebra, it, it, yes, it does. It is actually part of the specification. So whoever wants to implement this in any language will have to have a way to represent this polynomial in that in that uh, program or that code. So that's basically what we're going to do. So this polynomial is very important. And that we're going to use it for multiplication. So we're going to multiply two polynomials and we're going to use this for to reduce actually that that product. So let me be more specific here. So what are we going to do here to multiply two polynomials? Let's say I have two, I want to multiply the polynomials a of x by b of x. a is one polynomial in this Galois field, and this is another polynomial in this Galois field. What I want is when I multiply these two polynomials, I get an answer, and the answer should also be an element of this Galois field. So it should be a polynomial of degree 7 or less with coefficients of zeros and ones. And the way you do it is like this. Uh, so I kind of wrote it down over here. So what you do is you multiply the polynomials as you multiply normal polynomials. So you just use the distributive law and the law of exponents to multiply. But you don't just leave it like that. You mod the polynomial. So what I mean by that is that you multiply these things here. So what you do is you multiply uh, this uh, these two polynomials and you divide this multiplication, whatever the answer is, by the polynomial p of x. So we actually have to do a division of polynomials here. And this mod here, it doesn't mean uh, that is the quotient is the remainder of that division. So we're going to go use remainders again. So what we do is, again, if I, want to, if I want to multiply two polynomials, a of x and b of x, what I do is I multiply them as normal multiplication of polynomials. And then what I do is I take that result I divide it by p of x, and I take the remainder of that division. And that will be the answer. That will be the multiplication of these two, these two polynomials here. Now, let me do an example here. So let's say, for example, I want to find this multiplication. So let's say I want this x squared plus x, which is, of course, an element of the Galois field, because it's a polynomial of degree 2, which is less than 7. And I multiply by this other polynomial, which is also in the Galois field, because it's a polynomial of degree uh, 3, and of course the coefficients of these polynomials are zeros and ones. So they are in the, these two are in the Galois field. Now, you don't actually have to do this to do the multiplication, but just to emphasize, this polynomial x squared plus x, the one that is right here, is a representation of this byte that is right here. So it's a zero uh, constant, it has a 1x, 1x squared, and the rest, I don't have any of the powers. This polynomial is also a representation of a byte. It's this byte that is right here. So it has a constant here. It has uh, x, and it, ho it also has the third power of x. So this polynomial here and this polynomial here are both representing two bytes. So basically what we are actually doing is multiplying these two bytes in the way of 
doing the representation here. So let's go ahead and do that multiplication. So what do we need to do? So we need to multiply them. We need to multiply this polynomial times that polynomial. So let's do that in here. So let me use another uh, uh, screen here. So let's say I want to multiply x squared plus x multiplied by x cubed plus x plus 1. And so we're going to just do uh, multiplication. We're going to do normal multiplication here first. And then if necessary, we're going to find the remainder. Now, sometimes you don't have to find the remainder if this product has degree 7 or less. The only uh, case in which you, you do that uh, remainder is when this product actually goes over a degree of 8 or more. So in this case, uh, let's see what happens. So I have the polynomials here, x squared plus x multiplied by this one. So you're going to uh, use uh, distribution or you foil if you prefer to call it like that. So I'm going to multiply x squared by x cubed, x squared by x, and then x squared also by 1. All right, so let's do that in here. So let's say x squared multiplied by x to the third, x, x to the fifth. Remember, because you just add the exponent, so that I'm going to get in here x to the fifth. Now, x squared multiplied by x is x to the third power. So I have plus x to the third power. And then I have exactly the same thing. x squared multiplied by 1 is just x. And I have to do the same for the other one for x. So let me use another color here. So I'm going to take x multiplied by x cubed and also multiply by x and also multiply by 1. So let's do that in here. So I'll say uh, x times x to the third is x to the fourth power because remember you add the exponent so it's going to be plus x to the four and then i have x times x that's going to be an x squared and then i have x times one that's going to be an, an x so plus x right. so that's that's up to this point that is just a normal normal multiplication of of polynomials so just normal multiplication Oh, that's an x squared over here. There. All right. That is squared. I forgot the x squared there. Remember, that is squared that was here is uh, this x squared multiplied by 1. By 1. All right. So as, as, as of now, this is just normal multiplication. So we have x cubed plus uh, x to the fifth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x to the four plus x squared again plus x. Now you have to simplify in here. Now remember, this plus that is right here is really a... When you combine them, it's really SOAR. So you're going to combine with SOAR. Okay, so let's look at this. So what do we have here? We have um, an x to the fifth power. That is nothing else I can combine it with, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So this is going to be equal to x to the fifth. Now, do I have an x to the fourth power? Yes, I do have an x to the fourth power, and it's right here. This is x to the fourth. Can I combine it with something else? No, I can't because there's no other x to the 4. So I'm just going to bring it down over here, plus x to the 4. Now, do I have an x cubed? Yes, I do. We have an x cubed. Let me mark down the ones that we uh, put down already. So I have x to the fifth, x to the 4. Now, an x cubed is this guy over here. Can I combine it with something else? No, I can't. So I'm going to bring it over here, x cubed. So plus, plus x cubed. And I already did the x cubed there. So x cubed. Done. Now, the next power should be the x squared. If I have, I do have an x squared here. Oops, let me just remove that. I have an x squared over here. And I have another x squared over here. So I have to combine and combine this two. So x squared plus x squared is 1 plus 1. But remember that 1 plus 1 is a sword. So it's going to be 0. So this basically are canceling out. So when I take this guy in and add an x squared, x squared plus x squared will be zero because remember here the addition, the addition here, it means, it really means the sort addition. So that's going to be zero. So basically what it happens that they're canceling out. So this guy here cancels with that one. And then do I have a power or an x here? Yes, I do. I have the x here and I cannot combine it with anything else. So that would be plus x, plus x. And that's it. That's the multiplication. Now, um, this polynomial that is right here, 
this polynomial has degree 5. Now, I don't have to divide it by my polynomial p of x, and the reason is because is the degree is less than 7. Now, if you actually go ahead and divide this by p of x, by, by here, the remainder will actually be exactly the same polynomial because that is the polynomial of degree less than p of x. So you don't have to do it. So this actually will be the answer of multiplication of these two polynomials that we saw uh, here. So this is the multiplication. So this is again an element of the Galois field. Now if you want, you can write down the representation of this polynomial as a byte. So let me put another color here. If I want to represent this as a byte, then what you need to do is write down the coefficients of the powers. Okay, so start with this with the constant. I don't have any constant, so I have to write down a one. I have an x here. Oh, sorry, I don't have a constant, so that's a zero, of course. Zero. I have a an x. What that means is I do have a power of x. So I'm gonna write down a one. I don't have an x squared, so I write down write down a zero. I do have an x cubed, an x to the 4, and an x to the 5th. So I'm going to have to write down three ones in a row. So I'm going to have a 1, a 1, and a 1. Now remember, those positions represent powers of x. So this is the constant. This is x. This is x squared. This is x cubed. This is x to the 4. And this is x to the 5th. And I have to go as to x to the 7th. So the next one would be x to the 6. And I don't have any here, so that means I put a 0. And I have I don't have an x to the seven, so I have to put a zero. So this is the byte. This one right here is the byte that is being represented by this polynomial. So in theory, what we did was the following thing: we took these two bytes and we sort of multiplied them with this new operation of multiplication. So we got this this byte over here. Now what happens here is uh, we didn't have to do the division or or do the mod or find the remainder and the reason is because this polynomial is uh, this polynomial here it doesn't have it doesn't have degree bigger than the degree is is not bigger than seven so we don't have to do it so if the degree is less than seven then you just go ahead and that, that's that's your answer now the next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about one example where you actually do go over the degree uh, of seven. So in that case, we'll actually have to do the division of polynomials. So I will stop the video now and I'll see you in the next video.